Poem number 89 of the Collected Poems of Rupert Brooke Read for LibriVox.org by Graham Redman A Letter to a Live Poet Sir, since the last Elizabethan died, or rather that more paradisal muse, blind with much light, passed to the light more glorious or deeper blindness, no man's hand as thine has on the world's most noblest chord of song struck certain magic strains. Ears satiate with the clamorous, timorous whisperings of to-day thrilled to perceive once more the spacious voice and serene utterance of old. We heard, with rapturous breath half-held, as a dreamer dreams who dares not know it dreaming lest he wake, the odorous amorous style of poetry, the melancholy knocking of those lines, the long, low soughing of pentameters, or the sharp of rhyme as a bird's cry, and the innumerable truant polysyllables multitudinously twittering like a bee. Fulfilled our hearts were with that music then, and all the evenings sighed it to the dawn, and all the lovers heard it from all the trees. All of the accents upon all the norms, and ah, the stress on the penultimate, we never knew blank verse could have such feet. Where is it now? Oh, more than ever now I sometimes think no poetry is read, save where some sepultured caesura bled, royally incarnadining all the line. Is the imperial I am laid to rest, and the young troche having done enough? Ah, turn again, sing so to us who are sick of seeming simple rhymes, bizarre emotions decked in the simple verses of the day, infinite meaning in a little gloom, irregular thoughts in stanzas regular, modern despair in antique metres, myths incomprehensible at evening, and symbols that mean nothing in the dawn. The slow lines swell, the new style sighs, the Celt moans round with many voices. God, to see gaunt anapists stand up out of the verse, combative accents, stress where no stress should be, spondy on spondy, I am on codiam, the thrill of all the tribracks in the world, and all the vowels rising to the E. To hear the blessed mutter of those verbs, conjunctions passionate towards each other's arms, and epithets like amaranthine lovers, stretching luxuriously to the stars, all prouder pronouns than the dawn, and all the thunder of the trumpets of the noun. End of poem number 89 A Letter to a Live Poet From the Collected Poems of Rupert Brooke This recording is in the public domain.